This visual presentation is a recording of how myself and several volunteers created the final photograph of Santa Fe number 3751. It's built in 1927 and is a beautiful large steam train that's kept operational to this day with the help of volunteers. You can see here there's myself with my camera in the background and the train and basically just a few simple lights and some battery packs. This is Bob, the director and president of the club. At this point you can see I'm looking through the camera getting final composition. And this is the final composition. There's amazingly very little in the photograph except for the train itself. I didn't have the advantage of train platforms and water towers and all that cool stuff which would be much better still. We basically get what we get. Starting my first exposure after sunset, I'm exposing for just the very last little light along twilight's horizon. In this case, I'm overexposing them to get as much blue and contrast as possible, or as what is normally very dark. Over the course of the evening, I'll wind up exposing over 700 photographs easily. It'll take eight or nine hours to get these. Later on, I'll take several of these photographs, maybe 200 or so, and layer them on top of each other in Photoshop to create what looks like an unusually detailed and beautiful photograph. In this case, it's an old steam train, but I'm trying to give it so much information, detail, and character that it's really a joy to look at and fun. I purposely rented a cherry picker for this photograph specifically. I wanted to light this very large object from above. My intent was to have people look at the photograph and maybe do a double, a double take to think, is this a model train? Is this a trick photo? No, it's a real photograph. And you normally don't see something this large lit from above it almost has a sense of a stage play, movie set, or a still life in a studio. I am trying to include as much little detail as possible. In this case, we put the 50-gallon drums just on the corner of the frame just to give it some sense of scale. And over the course of the evening, I worked my way down the top, front, and then back along the side, lighting as much uh, train detail, engines, valves, couplings, anything I could sort of pull out with lighting as possible. Toward the end, I added uh, Steve and the far top left side working on the light. It's just a little sense of scale. Steve's a regular sized guy, but he almost looks like a tiny person in comparison to the size of the train. It's astounding the scales involved. Toward the very last elements to be added in the shot is uh, James in the front of the photograph. I purposely have him looking into the picture itself. I wanted to create almost two photographs in one. With Dave at the very last on the far right side and the steam itself sort of tying the whole thing together, I sort of feel I've created two shots in one. Whereas before I only had one element, which is a large steam train, I tried to create the steam train large, prominent, and looking left, and having the two guys on the right kind of looking into the camera with the steam tying them together, there's almost a feeling of two shots in one. At least in my mind's eye, it gives me sort of a compositional flow as opposed to one thing that your eye stops at. During the final um, cropping of the shot, I did zoom in just a touch to give it a little more drama. I'm reluctant sometimes on location to crop too tight in the camera, because once you do that, you really can't go backwards. But you can always zoom in just a touch if I want to, just before I make prints and deliver photographs. And that's indeed how we made the photograph of 3751. Just for fun, I always like to show close-ups. This is James and Dave. You can see the detail in this. You can even read the little red logo on his uh, overalls. And it's kind of neat. If you look at the red handle in the very center where the steam's coming out, it gives you a sense of the file sizes involved in these high-resolution cameras. At this point, we're zoomed in so ridiculously far the photograph is starting to pixelate, but you still can get a sense of how much information, and this is typical of the entire photograph, there's a lot of detail and information. These are not necessarily photographs, I would like to think of them as hyper photographic. The last shot close up of Steve, you can really get a sense of how the light blowing out his hand as he's rubbing the light and the column of light and beams, all the little cross lighting on the rivets, it's really kind of neat and charming. Finally, I like to show the close up inside of the cab. It's neat to see all the little gauges and dials and the man for scale. This is indeed an operational steam train to this day. And that's how the photograph came about.